guys, welcome to Brilliant Pebs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin Jamal Bryant. Looks like Jamal Bryant is reinventing himself, making some changes, and we're just going to listen to uh, what he's been up to. So here is uh, Jamal Bryant. To wearenewbirth.org. This is an experience that is going to blow your mind. It's a warehouse, it's a storehouse, it's God's house. It's a warehouse because this is where it is that you can come and get old messages, relive previous services, explore the scripture, have a greater understanding about God. It is also the house of God, where it is that you find out how you serve, how you volunteer, how you commit, how you stretch, and how you belong. All the more, it's your house. This is where you need to understand that we are a mega church who has an intimate expression and a connection. While we're local, we're also global. So no matter where it is that you're logging on, from South Africa, South Carolina, or Southwest Georgia, this is your church. I'm excited. I don't want you to watch us. I want you to work with us, worship with us, and give to us. Have an incredible time exploring the next dimension of ministry known as wearenewbirth.org. Yes, explore the new thing because we are new birth, okay? And actually, we are a mega church, okay? You are in South Africa, you are all over the... No, if somebody is somewhere else, they are not part of your church, okay? Your church is a local church. They, you can do global missions, okay? You can do all those things. We are called to do those things. But stop thinking that that is your sheep, okay? Because contrary to many people think that, yeah, you know, they can be on internet, uh, they can go to church uh, on YouTube and everything like, no, internet, YouTube, none of those things is not a church. Those can be useful too that people can use, but uh, don't steal other people's sheep. But as you can see over here, Jamal Bryant has uh, pastors at his church, okay? And anytime you have a lot of women cannot be pastors, okay? But that's not the that's not the situation with Jamal, okay and i'll share with you guys because he does have um this is a list of uh the leadership that Jamal brand has at his church okay so i'll share this clip so you get to see who they are okay now we have over here uh it says uh you know I don't have a problem with men being uh, being pastors. Okay, he's the pastor of psychology. But over here we have Pastor Carla Stokes, pastor of biology. What does that mean? Then we have over here uh, Pastor Kyrie Turner, pastor of cardiology. Okay, pastor of cardiology. What is that about? Then we have Pastor Kevins, pastor of internet. Then we have uh, Jonathan Nason, uh, Senior Director of Worship, okay? Then we have Tiffany Boone, Minister of Music, okay? So we have three women here, okay? Uh, this one is the Minister of uh, Music. But you have three women here who are in leadership position and they are identified as pastors, pastor of biology and pastor of cardiology. What's that about? I have no idea. So whatever things are going on at new birth, okay? I don't know. I don't know. So uh, the lady over here, her name is Carrie Turner. She's one of the co-pastors. There's been some, you know, some rumors that are going on, some allegations that are going on. And given Jamal Bryant history, okay? Jamal Bryant is disqualified as a pastor given with his past because we already know an overseer an elder must be above reproach okay and you're out there uh ministering a mega church as a single man okay i mean he's been divorced so sh that's not good it's not a good picture a good image for somebody who is a pastor so this is one of the pastors at um at jamal bryant's church okay and this is Kerry, uh, Kerry Tan. So we're just going to listen uh, as she is teaching, okay? And he ain't asking for nobody's permission to do it. He ain't come where you came from, who your mama is, who your daddy is. Yeah. It is God who elevates. Hey, God, I thank you, God. And so I publicly want to thank oh, you. 
She's just walking all, you know, on the stage over there. I'm like, okay, so this is uh, one of the co-pastors and she's a minister of cardiology. What's going on over there? Hmm? What is going on over there? This is what happens when you don't take the pulpit seriously. Okay? You don't take the pulpit seriously. So, uh, some scripture share with you guys. Second Peter 2, okay? But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be also false teachers among you who will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing swift destruction upon themselves. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of the truth will be maligned. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words, their judgment from long ago is not idle and their destruction is not asleep. This is not the time to be asleep. You got to be awake or sleeper. Okay? <laughs> you got to be awake. But there's people who are going to this church and given with what happened with Eddie Long, okay, they keep bringing in... Uh, Teachers there who are just uh, disqualified. He just did ha have that lady who tackled him on the stage. Okay. The strange fire worship and worship. Now we have this lady. She's just walking all over the stage. Weeping may come, but joy comes in the morning. Huh? The promises of God are yes and ever. What does that even mean? <laughs> You're just taking the scriptures they come out of context and... This is what people are supposed to be hearing. Okay? No, this is not edifying. So whatever is going on at no birth, who knows? But from all the things that are out there, mm -mm, mm -mm. you need to run. You need to run. You need to run. All right, guys. That is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.